Ooh, I'm never doing that again. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another installment of things I'm loving right now. There's been a lot of things that I'm loving and I wanted to share them with you today. So that's what we're gonna do. I've been doing these videos in place of a monthly favorites. I kind of just do a things I'm loving roundup video when I come up with a bunch of things that I've been loving because I was getting sick of doing the monthly favorites. I think I've talked about this five million times. I am, nobody cares, okay, great. <laughs> also, if you were wondering what's on my face, I actually just finished filming my five minute drugstore makeup challenge using like fall inspired drugstore products and I just finished filming that. I'm still sitting in the exact same position. So if you're wondering how I did this makeup, you should watch the last video. I'll link it down below. I filmed it and it's gonna be already up and you will have already seen this makeup. So hello again. Okay, so starting with the things I'm loving, I'm gonna start with non-beauty favorites because I've got a couple of non-beauty favorites, but I've got a lot of beauty favorites. So I just wanted to start in that realm. First being some more Leah Alexandra products. You guys know I love Leah Alexandra and over the last few months, she has hooked you guys up with a code to get 10% off of your purchase if you use the code Alana you can get money off of your order. And she actually is in the middle of launching a full new collection, which I'm really excited about. But if you guys have been noticing, I've been wearing the Roma hoops a lot lately, which was the first product, I think, maybe not the first one, but it was one of the first pieces she launched in this collection. And I'm obsessed with them. I think they're so beautiful. She mentioned them having like a more thick gold plate so that they're not ever gonna tarnish, which is perfect. Um, but because they are gold plated, or sorry, gold filled, I believe was the correct term. They do keep the cost lower. So absolutely love these. But she also launched three new necklaces in the collection. And the first one was the St. Christopher pendant necklace. It's absolutely beautiful. The whole St. Christopher thing. I don't, I don't know the whole spiel behind it, but basically the St. Christopher is to protect you while you travel. So that was really perfect. <laughs> For my life and then actually today the day i'm filming this october 1st is when i'm filming this by the way in case you're wondering she also launched the love token necklaces there's a circular version and then also like a i don't know what you call that a hexagon octagon i don't know it's more of a rectangle rectangle in a circle so those are the latest pieces in the collection and you can use lana as a code for money off of your order so been loving leah alexandra always she makes such beautiful pieces and she's a local designer here in vancouver to continue on with the kind of non-beauty related favorites i also wanted to mention my fitbit which was actually a gift for my birthday my parents got this for me for my birthday and they're obsessed with it they have like all these group challenges with all their friends and some of our family members and they do challenges with their steps and they're so hilarious and they wanted me to join so they got me a fitbit and i've been wearing it since my birthday which for those of you who don't know was awesome 11th and I've been wearing it since and I really love it. I love that it tracks my fitness levels. It tracks your kind of calories that you approximately burn in a day, but I actually really love it for sleep tracking as well. It's like scarily accurate and the Fitbit comes with an app. Sorry, I'll pull it up on my phone here. This is the app here and you open it up and Okay, for example, this is my day today. So it counts the number of steps that you've had, it counts your night's sleep, it also counts your activity, like kind of your cardio heart rate minutes here, and then calories and the miles you've walked, I suppose. So this is my day so far today. I did a spin class this morning and I was clearly really hot and bothered by it because it shows that I had more active minutes after that. I just think it's really great. It's not something I thought I would obsess over, but I feel like the more I've been wearing it, the more I kind of obsess over it. I'm like, oh my God, I only got five hours of sleep the other night. I must have a nap. And it's cool because it tracks your naps and it adds that on to your nightly amount of sleep as well. So I don't know how many versions Fitbit has, but they have like an upgraded version as well that you can kind of select the different versions of activity and there's more things on it but i like this one i'm really interested in picking up the new apple watch because it looks really fancy and i watched the apple launch so mom if i end up getting the apple watch i'm sorry i still love you and i thank you for bringing the fitbit into my world but this one also syncs up with your phone it actually like vibrates every time i get a text message and every time my phone rings so i don't know i've really been loving it i've really been loving kind of being able to watch my activity and watch my sleep and i never thought that i would be diving into this world. What are your thoughts? What do you guys think about these things? Are you becoming obsessive with them as well? Because I am. <laughs> I wanted to mention one final non-beauty related favorite and it's an app and it's a game and this is not sponsored whatsoever. Dan and his sister were playing this and I was making fun of him. I was like, oh my gosh, why are you so obsessed with this game? I don't like competitive apps and games and rah, rah, rah. And he was like, babe, just download it and let's play it. And we have been playing it nonstop. It's like killing our productivity. It is so fun, we're obsessed. Anyway, it's it's this word, Ruzzle. It's called Ruzzle. It's a word cross game. And I don't know if you guys ever played Words with Friends,
Gems, I think that's what it was called. I was obsessed with that in university, but I haven't played it for years. And anyway, the, the Ruzzle game, let me just pull a practice mode up here. It has a timer of two minutes and you basically just have to create as many words as possible. And it's so fun. <laughs> I love it so much. Dan and I get so frustrated and we play against each other. You can play against random opponents or just play in a practice round. And I kind of like it. Like we've been doing a lot of escape rooms. We've been playing this word puzzle things and I'm just kind of trying to do fun things that are using my brain more than I have been using my brain in a long time. So anyway, if you guys are looking for a fun new game to play with yourself or with your friends, I definitely recommend Ruzzle. It's been an absolute blast and it's using your brain too, firing some neurons during the day. So yeah, Dan and I have been loving that. Just wanted to mention it because I think it's fun and I don't play many games on my phone, but that's been one I've been obsessed with. Okay, let's move on to some beauty favorites. I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of been a little bit overwhelmed in the beauty and makeup realm. I've been trying a lot of new products lately. And with this move, there's kind of, I got a big pile of stuff in Toronto. I've got a big pile of stuff here. It's just, it's just all over the place. But I did wanna mention a few drugstore favorites because I have been exploring the drugstore a lot lately and there have been a lot of amazing products that I've been trying. I'll link a few of my most recent videos in the description box down below if you wanted to catch up on them. But I wanted to mention a few of the standout products that I've been loving. First being this Real Techniques complexion sponge. This is so good. I truly never thought that I would find a dupe for the Beauty Blender and I'd never even given this a second thought. This is not a new product whatsoever, but this was the first time I actually tried it and you can use it dry or damp, they say, and it does expand a little bit when you put the water on it, but it is so soft. It's very, very soft and it beautifully blends out the products on your skin. I notice no difference. If not, if, if anything, I find this gives is a better finish than the Beauty Blender. I think it's fantastic. It was $4.99 available anywhere that Real Techniques is available and I think that this is gonna be my new go-to sponge, which is crazy, but it's true. And I've definitely been loving it, so wanted to mention that. That was a big, big favorite from my drugstore find. I need to slow it down a little bit. I'm speaking really fast, sorry. The next product that I'm loving in the makeup realm is also from the drugstore and I've already talked about it in my last few videos, but I wanted to mention it again. It is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is actually the shade number 40. This is Be My Sunlight, this beautiful shimmery goodness here. This one retails for $4.99 US, but I actually got it on sale at Ulta. It was $2.99 when I purchased it, which is such a steal. It's the highlighter I have on now, but because I just filmed my challenge, it's actually not a whole lot on. So let me just pop that on. It is beautiful. It is such a beautiful shade. And I did think that this was the one Kathleen Lights recommended and had included in a previous highlighter favorites because this was the only one that was there when I actually went to purchase it. But the one she was actually talking about was the number 10 Be My Highlight, which is a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more natural. The sunlight one is a little bit deeper and more shimmery. This one has, it doesn't have any like specks of shimmer in it, but this one's definitely more of a very, very natural light glow, whereas this one's like a highlighter. So they're both beautiful. And I saw this one today when I actually went to go purchase the products for my little drugstore challenge that I just filmed. <laughs> How many times am I gonna mention that? But they're so good, they're so beautiful. So Kathleen, again, you're so right. They're gorgeous. Essence did such a good job with these. You, you literally, you cannot beat the price of these for the beautiful product that you get. The only thing I would, <sighs> these are the only two shades that were at Shoppers Drug Mart. And again, they're the only shades that I saw in my previous wanderings through wherever they were, Walmart and Ulta. And they don't appear to have any deeper shades, which is pretty sad. I hope that online maybe Essence has some deeper shades. I'll check that out if there is. I'll list them in the description box down below, but if not, Essence, expand your shade range, poor favor. But they're beautiful, love them nonetheless. Uh, for my particular skin tone. So I don't really want to delve too deeply into them because I've already talked about them a lot in my last few videos again, but these two concealers, this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer. I've been using this under my eyes like non-stop Meryl. and this brightens up the under eyes like nobody's business it's so good it comes out of the sponge on the top and i've pretty much only been using it underneath my eyes and i think it's just gorgeous the real techniques sponge blends it out beautifully as well um and also the la girl pro conceal pro conceal concealer i used this for the first time in my under five dollar drugstore full face friday video and it was beautiful it lasted all day that day i had this thing on my face for like 15 hours that day when i filmed it probably not that long but it was a long 
long time. It was a full day and it didn't curdle or anything. It was beautiful. And then I've been using it since. I used it today in my drugstore challenge and it's beautiful. Full coverage again, blends out gorgeous with the sponge and it also blends out really nicely with your finger. I prefer it with the sponge because it is full coverage. It takes away a lot of that excess product, but it's such a beautiful concealer and for such an affordable price. And um, when I went to purchase this, there weren't many shades. There were only like five shades available on the stand. But when I went to the Ulta website after filming that video and after editing it, there were 28 shades of this concealer available on Ulta's website. So that's incredible. A lot of other brands are, you know, kind of getting the hint and bringing up more shades, but it was really nice to see such an affordable product having so many shades available. So LA Girl. Pro Conceal, Udabom, such a great product. Now the next product isn't necessarily a favorite. It's not something that I have been loving because I only actually purchased it today. But I did just want to mention what was on my lips and it's this Marcel lip liner. It's the Forever Sharp lip liner in the shade Warm Nude and it's got a twist off kip here. Kip? Cap? It's got a twist off cap which actually has a sharpener inside it which is so genius, hence the name Forever Sharp. Um, but it's beautiful and I actually swatched them here side by side. I have my Makeup Forever 5C lip liner. No, wait, I think I mucked that up. This is the lip liner here. I, has, I was trying to find a dupe for my Makeup Forever lip liner. The Makeup Forever lip liner is here and then this is the Marcel one. So they're not, this one's a little bit lighter than my Makeup Forever one, but it's still so beautiful and they're so creamy. And I think Marcel is a Canadian only brand. I don't know if they're sold elsewhere in the States, but, but it's beautiful and I'm trying to find dupes for the Makeup Forever one since it's gone. And uh, anyway, yeah, that's what I'm wearing on my lips as well as, oh. And on top of that lip liner, I'm also wearing this Burt's Bees Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Redwood Forest, which is so beautiful. And it just matched my sweater, which is from Aritzia, by the way. And I love tinted lip things because I don't have to worry about it. I can just slap it on. And so again, I did purchase this day, but I can see this being a favorite in the days to come. I just wanted to mention it because yeah, that's what's on my lips. Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette on my eyes. Look at all of these drugstore products, you guys. I'm expanding. And there's this video off with three skincare favorites, three skincare products that I've been loving. I'm going to start with a cleanser. And this was one I actually purchased before the VIB sale that happened in August. So I purchased this in August and it's been the cleanser I've been using since. It's the Youth to the People. It was a new brand. Sam and I were actually going to Sephora to plan out our VIB sale videos. And we both saw this and we were like, Sweet, let's try this face wash. I've never heard of the brand Youth to the People. It seemed to be new at Sephora and it was a part of their clean beauty whole campaign. And I've already used so much of this. Dan and I have been using it. it is the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Face Wash. Look at that, it's fantastic, it's beautiful. I love this packaging so much because when it comes to cleansers, I always use the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I love it so much and I pull it out of the cupboard, open the cap, squeeze it, I'm covered in, you know, gunk and juices and whatever. Not that that's a big deal, not that that's a big deal at all, but I do love that they made this a pump bottle because I just have it sitting on the edge of my sink and I just pump it into my hands and cleanse and I have really, really dry, sensitive skin. Dan has pretty sensitive, like oily skin and we're both using and loving it. It's beautiful and definitely been a product I could recommend to you guys. It's a glass container, so it's recyclable and all that good stuff. Love it. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the Youth to the People products. I think it's fantastic. And if you could give it a try, let me know your thoughts. I also wanted to mention this face cream that I've been using lately. It is the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. It's this bad boy right here. And I've already used so much of it. It is a gel formula. Wow, I'm almost done it actually. Holy crap. I've been using it for a couple of months. It's been really great. I've only been using it during the day. It's incredibly moisturizing, but not over the top. And I think that people with oily skin could definitely use this as well. I ran out of my fresh creme and chienne cream, which is an absolute tragedy. I've been trying to put off buying it because it's just so expensive, but I think I'm gonna need to pick it up again for the nighttime, especially coming into winter. I'm gonna need all the ultra hydration bad boys in my life, but the Tidal Cream, it's been beautiful. It sits under makeup well. I really like the packaging and it's just another face cream that I could recommend to you if you have more dry and sensitive skin. And the final product that I am loving is the Eve Lom Rescue Mask. And speaking of overpriced products, I think this one was $105. I'm probably wrong. I'm not good with numbers. I don't remember numbers well, but I'll put however much it is on the screen here. My skin has been too lately. I've been getting like all that stress is killing me and I've used this a couple of times and I you not you guys 
the first time I used this. I was actually FaceTiming Jamie Page the first time I used this and I was like blown away at how my skin felt while I was using this and then I was blown away the next morning after the night of using this for the first time. My skin, like I had a kind of weird little bumpy rash. I had some oncoming and already existing acne and it just, it really did like kind of rescue my face. It made my skin feel so good and I really like to use a mask and I'm always happy to splurge on a mask that gives me instant results and this was one of them. This is so beautiful. It smells horrible. It smells like cough syrup. It's the worst, but um, I was actually surprised that I was completely unaffected by the scent of this. It was so beautiful, and I hate to recommend really expensive products for you guys, but this is one of those masks that just, it did a great job on my skin, and I'd be so curious to hear from you if you've ever tried this particular rescue mask from Eve Lum, or if you have tried any other of her products, because this is actually the first product I've ever used from this brand, and I'm really excited. It was beautiful, and Definitely going in the top of my like favorite masks of all time. It's gorgeous. I love the packaging too. It's so pretty. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, you guys. And I'm actually gonna wrap up this video here. That was a whole lot of blabbing. A lot of products we went through, a lot of beautiful products, a lot of favorites. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' favorites have been this month in terms of beauty, lifestyle, food, music, books. Ooh, let me know book recommendations if you have them. I'm looking for some new ones. Just tossing that in there. I'm sorry that I didn't mention any clothing, but I'm loving this turtleneck from Aritzia. We'll link down below. This, this ambulance really likes it too. Those are all of the things that I have been loving as of late. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comments down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!